Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here, and today we're going to be looking at can you tell which of these women are ill just by looking? Did you know that recently some scientists carried out an amazing test? This test involved new ways to spot if someone's ill just by looking at them. That's right, you no longer need medical training to know if someone's seriously ill. And if you know what you're looking for, you could even save a life. So watch this video and share it with people you care about. But first, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. So first, let's look at the experiment. This experiment was carried out in the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm, Sweden. It was done by a bunch of PhD students in neuroscience. They found that some species of animals can pick up on cues that other animals are diseased. This then allows the animal to know these animals need to be avoided. This led them to think, how can humans harness this ability and spot when a fellow human is ill? It's well known that one of the best ways to stop infectious diseases is to spot it and get rid of it. Obviously, the more people who get infected, the more people have the disease and the further it spreads out. So, they decided to put this to the test in a very odd experiment. They got 22 healthy volunteers and either gave them E. coli or a placebo. Then, four days later, the people who were given E. coli were given a sugar pill and vice versa. Two hours after they were either given E. coli or a placebo, they had their photo taken. And they did this to measure differences in these people. They wanted to see if you have any physical effects to having bad bacteria in your body. They tested this with the E. coli virus. But these results are actually consistent with any bacterial virus in the world. So I'll now pose you the question they posed to a group of people after having these photos taken. They said to a separate group of people, which of these women are ill? One is ill and one's not, and it's up to you to work out which one's ill and which one isn't. I'll give you guys 10 seconds on screen right now and see if you can find out which one's ill and which one isn't. Alright guys, did you work out which woman is ill and which one is healthy? Well guys, I can reveal the picture on the right took the E. coli virus while the other took a placebo. If you got this right, maybe you got it just by luck. Or perhaps you could actually spot the signs as to why this person is ill. Well, in case you didn't, then listen up, as this could literally save a life in the real world. There are various cues when people have an infectious disease you can see on their face. And amazingly, you can see this within hours of them getting infected. This means you can tell them to go and see a doctor right away. And also make sure you and everyone else keeps away from them to stop the disease from spreading. There are three different cues you should have picked up on. The first one is having pale lips. As you can see on the sick person, they have pale lips, while the healthy person has bright normal lips. The next thing to look out for is droopy corners of the mouth. You'll notice that the ill person's mouth droops slightly, while the other person's doesn't. And finally, you need to look out for low-hanging eyelids. The sick person's eyelids are low-hanging, while the healthy person's are not. But what exactly do these three cues mean? And how does spotting them help to stop infectious diseases? One of the very easy things to look out for is pale lips. This is something you should be able to notice right away if someone has an infection. That's because when someone has an infection, they have a lower red blood cell count. This anemia causes people's lips to go pale. And if someone actually has white lips, this may mean they require immediate medical attention. But one of the main effects of a bacterial infection like E. coli is a low red blood cell count. Red blood cells help your body function normally. So if you're not getting these, this will be causing bad internal damage to you. And the external damage will be shown in the form of pale lips. Next up, let's look at the drooping mouth. If you see someone who has a drooping mouth, this could mean a facial nerve is not working correctly. This is almost always the result of a virus. Bacterial viruses can affect somebody's facial nerves in the first few hours. Basically, this facial drooping around the mouth is a weakness or even paralysis of the mouth. The medical term for this is actually Bell's palsy. But really, it's just the result of any bacterial virus like E. coli. So if you see somebody with pale lips, a drooping mouth, or both, they likely have a virus. And finally, let's look at what the third cue means. That third cue is drooping eyelids. The medical term for this is blepharoptosis. This is a drooping of the eyelid, which can sometimes interfere with the pupil or interfere with other parts of your vision. This can happen in one of or both of someone's eyes. Now, they may just be sleepy, so check for the mouth cues as well. 
But if someone has seriously droopy eyelids, they could have a virus. That's because viruses often affect the muscles around your eye socket. These muscles are very sensitive and those who have viruses are often affected by this first. Drooping of the eyelids is a great thing to look out for as it should be very apparent. If your friend is bright eyed one second and droopy eyed the next, you know something is not right. So now hopefully you know how to spot somebody who's seriously ill right away. According to the research done by these Swedish PhD students, these effects can be seen within two hours. This will give you plenty of time to warn the person who you're seeing these effects in. Remember, the person may actually not realize how sick they actually are. They could just assume they're tired or not even notice at all. But if you notice their drooping eyelids, drooping mouths and pale lips, then this is a bad warning sign. You should also not stand too close to them as you don't want to catch the virus. This is especially the case with young children or older adults. That's because they have a much higher risk of conducting a virus such as E. coli. Also, people with weakened immune systems have to be extra careful. This would be the case if you've had a disease or an organ transplant. You can get E. coli mainly from uncooked food. You can also get it from drinking bad milk, juice or cider. So it's always best to keep all of your drinks at room temperature and also wash all of your produce very thoroughly. You can also of course conduct viruses from other people. So if you see somebody showing these three cues, then get far away from them and tell them to visit a doctor. Hopefully you guys can save somebody with these tips if you ever need to. This research is very new and many people don't know about these great tips. The amazing thing is you don't need to be a doctor to spot this, you just have to have good awareness of people's faces. So be sure to show this video to somebody you care about as it could save a life. Vote in the poll in the top right corner if you're going to be more vigilant of people's faces now. I definitely will be as I don't want to get an infection myself and want to warn anyone who may have one. If you guys want some more amazing videos, why not check out my second channel? There'll be a link to that coming up on screen in a moment. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.